And another thing, when we get back, you reindeer are having a bath. Jeez, especially you, Rudolph. Oh, hey, hello, and welcome back to IT Pro TV's 12 Days of IT, where we're unboxing 12 different IT gadgets, then giving them away. Now, today's the sixth day of IT, and that means Don will be unboxing a Raspberry Pi computer kit. Oh, I love holiday pies, <laughs> especially raspberry. <laughs> anyway, if you haven't already registered to win, head over to itpro.tv slash 12 days to sign up. Then tune into our YouTube Live on Friday, December 10th at 2 p.m. Eastern and see if you're a lucky winner. You won't want to miss a day, so be sure to subscribe to this channel and jingle the bell for notifications. <laughs> All right, it's time for Don to slice in that pie. Don, give me a piece, would you? Take it away. Thanks a lot, Zach. Today we're going to be highlighting another great tech gift, which is the Raspberry Pi 400, a very unique entry in the family of Raspberry Pis. If you're not familiar with them, they are very small, very inexpensive computers. They are ARM-based system on a chip, and they basically give you a great way to do Internet of Things or IoT type projects. Where the Raspberry Pi 400 differs is it's really designed to be used as a desktop. It's a full computer built into a keyboard. Well, enough talking about what it is. Let's actually see it. I'm going to go ahead and open this one up, if I can. And you'll find there's not actually a whole lot in the box except the device. So once I open that up, there's an empty box. I'll shove that off to the side. And we're left with our device. So it looks like a keyboard. At first glance, you've got your standard QWERTY layout that's used here in the United States. Uh, we've got our function keys across the top. It is a two-thirds keyboard, so it's a little bit shrunk. And so you'll see like the function keys don't go all the way to F12. F11 and F12 are featured up here as secondary keys uh, that we can press if we need to activate those. And you'll see a number of cases of that where they've kind of replicated keys in a different location to make it where they could make the keyboard smaller. I like how they replaced the Windows button with a little Raspberry Pi logo, a little more of a super button instead of Windows, uh, but you'll see otherwise the layout is pretty traditional. Uh, if we flip it over, on the back side, you'll see there's not a whole lot here, but what I do wanna highlight is that we do have a, a bit of a bump and some venting right along here. And the reason that's there, and let me just kind of show you a, a side profile view so you can see that bump. Uh, the bump is nice because it does elevate the keyboard a little bit, which creates a more traditional keyboard layout. Some people describe it as ergonomic. It's actually not very ergonomic to angle a keyboard that way, but I think all the marketing companies do that. Uh, but the reason it's got the venting there, which fits nicely in that bump, is because inside is a full Raspberry Pi 4. The Raspberry Pi, Raspberry Pi 4 is the most powerful Raspberry Pi available right now, which is a really slick little computer, but it does generate some heat. There's a heat shield that runs across this area and the vent allows the heat to escape. The device can get a little bit warm if you're really pushing it. If you're playing like 4K video on it, it has a 4K video chip, so it's able to uh, decode and display that, but it generates some heat, so it's a, that's why it has to have that. Looking across the back of it is where we really start to see some big differences though. This is designed to be a full computer. So we have USB ports here. We may want to attach a mouse. There's a USB 2.0 port in addition to the USB 3 ports beside it. We can attach a mouse. Now we've got our keyboard. We need to attach a monitor. Well, there's two micro HDMI ports right here. You can actually attach two monitors if you want. There is one more large slot right here, which is a little unusual. And let, let's see if I can get this open here. There we go. Uh, it's a little rubber kind of gasket. I'm just gonna pull that off. And what you'll see inside is what looks like an old IDE hard drive connector, but that's the 40 pin IO connector. If we wanna do where we're controlling lights or interfacing with an, a, a breakout board or whatever, we have access to that. On a normal Raspberry Pi, you would see this laid out right on top of the board but here it's on the back side, so you can still get at it. Now, if we're just using this as a desktop, we don't care about that, so we can stick the little rubber gasket back on it and ignore it, and now we've got the rest of our, our stuff. We do have the SD card slot here, nice and accessible, as well as the other ports and a physical network adapter. All the ports that would normally be on a Raspberry Pi, well, minus one USB port. Uh, we have USB-C for power. It does not come with a power supply, so you will need to provide your own. Fortunately, it's a standard USB power supply. It does need to be about five volts in order to provide enough voltage to do everything a Raspberry Pi is capable of. So all said and done, it's a really cool tech gadget, basically a computer and a keyboard, a neat one to mess with. Well, another great tech gift, and I hope it ends up in your stocking, but that's it for me. Back to you, Zach.
Thanks, Don. Would you like to win that or any of the gadgets from the 12 Days of IT? Well, then head over to ITPro.tv slash 12 days to sign up on Friday, December 10th. Tune in at 2 p.m. Eastern right here for YouTube Live and see if you're a winner. Go ahead and subscribe to the IT Pro TV YouTube channel right now and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss a day. By the way, don't try eating a raspberry pie. It isn't very tasty. Anyway, see you tomorrow for the next gift. Bye-bye.